the entire shell is built out of recycled insulated panels that were cutaways from other projects. So rather than seeing them wind up in a landfill, uh, we've used them to, to build this tiny home. But touch this. It's not that hot. It's not hot. Because not hot. it's reflecting the heat off of it. When this tiny home is complete, we'll have between ten and $11,000 in it, complete. It's going to have its own power supply. It'll have uh, 2,500 watts of solar panels. Eventually, what we're going to have up here is a loft, a sleeping loft. So this is going to double as the living room and the bedroom. It'll have a completely furnished kitchen. Um, the bathroom will have its own. It'll have a composting toilet. It'll have a backup battery system to provide power at night. The only thing you'll need when you set this on a piece of property is access to water. Most of the tiny homes being built around Chattanooga are in the neighborhood of $40,000 and up. We wanted to show that, yes, you can build a tiny home a completely furnished with its own power supply for less than $11,000. Well, we're learning that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make a lot of money, and this is just making it cheaper and it requires less energy. We're going to have solar uh, ovens and stuff like that throughout the vents, and the lights are going to be able to work through solar energy, so we're not going to have to pay for much. It's really cool because most of it is really recycled. It's really clean and good for the environment. It's little, but you'll live happy. I hope they're learning that, you know, they don't have to spend money to save money. They can learn to do a lot with a little, and I hope they learn how to uh, impact and take care of the environment. Way to go, Tyner. Hey, if you have an idea for a story, go to our website, WDEF.com. Look for the icon that says what's right with our schools, and you'll find a link to post your story idea.